coming up in today's vlog on the Coventry Canal. We discover why Coventry suffered the single most concentrated attack on a British city in the Second World War. Coventry was selected as a target of reprisal. The date, Thursday the 14th of November, 1940. We reveal the history of the canal basin. It was originally built to enable the cheap transportation of coal by canal boat from the Bedworth Coalfield to the north of the city. Jan sees the light. Do you know, it is very impressive, but I don't know whether I like it. And our trip on the Coventry Canal takes us past some interesting places. There would have been a shaft running all the way from the first house to the last house, worked by a steam engine. All that work you've been doing. Hey? It's all that work you've been doing. Oh. Good morning. Hiya. <laughs> Hello. And welcome to today's vlog. She's what? been a locky today. Yeah, working very hard. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's only it's only a tiny lock. I think it only goes down about two foot. And we've got the bridge to go through and turn left onto the. Coventry. Coventry. Now everybody says oh it's the Coventry arm but actually when we get to the basin that's where the Coventry canal starts so far from being an arm it's actually a whole leg because <laughs> oh. it goes from here all the way to Fradley which is where we're going to be going eventually. Hopefully. Yes but today we're going to do the delights of Coventry. little trick I was taught by an experienced boater some time ago when you're going through town centres and you can see a lot of detritus and uh, whatever in the water and you don't want it flapping around your prop and then having to stop and get down the weed hatch just as you approach the bridge because that's invariably where it all ends up under the bridge take the engine out of gear and then float under the bridge that way the propellers not turning so it's not churning any water up and also it's not churning anything like plastic bags clothes whatever else you find loitering around <laughs> your propeller shaft and then pick up the power just as you go past the bridge the other side of the bridge fingers crossed we won't pick up anything I don't think there's anything coming the other way. It's Sunday today, so, well, you never know. Sundays can be busy, actually. And 
we are going slow anyway because of potential stuff in the canal. Lovely iron bridge, this one. Look at all the rivets. It's like the Titanic. Mind you, look what happened to that. <laughs> That's probably not a ringing endorsement, is it? <laughs> Taking it very slow through this section. Yeah, it's got more than its fair share of crap. Coming up on our starboard side, on our right hand side, these are Cash's 100 houses. Houses? Where are you from, Tone? No, these are Cash's 100 houses. They're old mill workers' houses. The, the, you guys, you can see they're three story. I think you can see. The bottom two stories were accommodation, and the top story, the top floor, was where all the mills were. You can probably see the different types of glass. And there was a there would have been a shaft running all the way from the first house to the last house. Uh, worked by a steam engine, which worked the mill. And it's a bit of a misnomer calling them Cash's hundred houses because there was only 48. <laughs> Lovely. Here's the rest of them down here. And of those 48, only 37 remain. Bridge 2 signifies that we're getting very close to the basin. Here we are at Coventry Base, the start of the Coventry Canal. It was originally built to enable the cheap transportation of coal by canal boat from the Bedworth Coalfield to the north of the city and to link Coventry to the Trent and Mersey Canal at Fradley Junction, then on to the River Trent at Trent Lock. It was down to this guy, James Brindley, the original canal engineer, to build the Coventry Canal from here at the basin 
all the way to the Trenton Mersey at Fradley. He was paid £150 a year for the job. Only worked two days a week. Not a bad living. Unfortunately, the canal company went bust. And Brindley's Coventry Canal only got as far as Bedworth before the Birmingham and Faisley Company took it over. As well as its famous canal basin, Coventry is also famous for several other things, including the legend that it was the birthplace of St George, dragon slayer and patron saint of England, Britain's car industry was founded by Daimler in a disused Coventry cotton mill in 1896, Chuck Berry recorded his number one hit My Ding-a-Ling at a Coventry dance hall, Coventry Transport Museum has the biggest collection of British-made cars, motorcycles and bicycles in the world, but it is also remembered as being the city that suffered almost total destruction during World War II. For two months solid, London was bombed relentlessly on a daily basis, in fact for 68 days non-stop, but that was the change on this one occasion. Historians point this to being in part as a retaliation for an attack on Munich by the British earlier in November 1940. Coventry was selected as the target of reprisal. The date, Thursday the 14th of November 1940. The raid, codenamed Monshine Sonata, or Moonlight Sonata, was carried out by 444 aircraft. They were each given a specific target, unleashing over a thousand incendiary bombs to light up the way for the approaching aircraft. The raid lasted almost 10 hours and was relentless. By the morning, the city was unrecognisable. There were over 500 dead, with 800 seriously injured. The city was without power, gas, water. Both the Daimler and the Rolls-Royce factory were in ruins. The main damage was in the medieval centre and around Broadgate, an area of a quarter of a million square feet was completely destroyed. The market hall, Owen and Owen store, but for most, it was the destruction of the cathedral that was the biggest loss. For over 500 years, St Michael's Cathedral had stood at the centre of the city. It was the only one in Britain to suffer such massive destruction. A conscious and collective decision was taken to build a new cathedral and to preserve the ruins as a constant reminder of conflict, the need for reconciliation and as a garden of remembrance. The new cathedral was consecrated on the 25th of May 1962. It must have seemed very modern in its day. In fact, it still looks like new and unlike any other cathedral. Isn't it? Do you know, it is very impressive, but I don't know whether I like it. It's very, very modern and I don't understand half of the... See up there, they've got the... They look like trees and I love a good old um, stained, glass. stained glass window. Yeah, really and nice. I think this is beautiful. Yeah. Um, and I asked if there was a story to it or whatever, but there isn't. It's just a burst of light. Burst of light. Um, I'm not sure. It is beautiful. The jury's out. That's, that's the word I was trying to think of. Yeah. I'm walking into the light. Oh. An angel. <laughs> I'm more like one of those Satan's angels on the front. The ones that are, are, are drilled. The drill. Drilled? Yeah, the, the g glass was cut by a drill. Oh, okay. Yeah. And there's five angels and the rest are all Satan's angels. Thanks for watching and if you've enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already subscribed it's free to do so and then when you have subscribed press the bell icon Ding! thank you Jan and YouTube will let you know next time we upload a vlog 
In the meantime, stay safe, happy cruising. Thanks everybody for subscribing, liking and commenting. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.